we're going to be talking about interior angles of triangles. So for any triangle, x plus y plus c is equal to 180 degrees. So this is just saying that the measure of angle x plus the measure of angle y plus the measure of angle z is equal to 180 degrees. So using this information, we're going to do an example. So we know that the measure of angle ABC is equal to 30 degrees. And the measure of angle BAC is equal to 45 degrees. And the measure of angle ACB is what we're trying to find. So we're just going to call it X. So we're going to add all of these together with X just counting for this angle and set it equal to 180 degrees. If you add those up, you get 75. And if you subtract them over, you get x equals 105 degrees. So the angle of ACB is 105 degrees. So now we're going to do an, another example. We know that the measure of angle EGF is 30 degrees. Is 30 degrees. And we want to find out what the measure of this angle is. Well, if you remember, when I said that we put this little square sign here, that means that this is a right angle. And a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. So we're going to add x plus 90 plus 30 and set it equal to 180 degrees. If you add this up, you get x plus 120 equals 180. You subtract it over, you get x is equal to 60 degrees. OK. Now that we know that property, we're going to look at the exterior and interior angles of a triangle and see how they relate to one another. So for any triangle, x plus y is equal to the measure of z. So the measure of angle x plus the measure of angle y is equal to the measure of angle z. So now we're going to do an example. So we're going to do an example where we're trying to find out what the measure of angle k is. That's what we're trying to solve for. So since we know that the sum of these two angles right here equals angle k, we're going to add 38 plus 45 and set it equal to the measure of angle k. And if you add those up, you'll get 83 degrees is equal to the measure of angle k. So that means that this angle right here is an 83 degree angle. So now that we know some basic properties of triangles, in the next video we're going to do some triangle comparison.